this video briefly explains how to cite a court case where no neutral citation is available. In a previous video, we discussed that citation is not as simple as copying and pasting the citation information from a source. We need to look at the formatting requirements in the McGill Guide. These requirements include formatting the case name and providing parallel citations in, or in the order determined by the McGill Guide's hierarchy of sources. In this video, we discuss citing court cases where there is no neutral citation. In such cases, we may need to add the year of the decision and or the jurisdiction and court issuing the decision. Here's our first example. The first step is to write the case name. Here it is. Then we add parallel citations from two or three sources. Here they are. Now we need to determine if we are adding the year of the decision. Looking at the table of contents at the jurisprudence tab, we see that there is a section on the year of the decision. According to this section, the year should be added if there is no annual reporter uh, or the annual reporter is a different year than when the decision was issued. Essentially, if the year of the decision is not evident from your citation information, it should be added. When you are adding a year this way, it should be in round parentheses, not square brackets. The year of the decision comes after the case name and before the comma. In this example, the SCR published the decision in the 1999 volume but the decision was issued in 1998. In our example, this means we need to add the year, 1998, in round parentheses. Note that the 1999 is not something we added in. It is part of the volume information for the SCR. That's why 1999 is within square brackets and is placed after the comma. The square brackets should not be changed. Here's our complete citation with the year added in round parentheses before the comma. Our second example will show the process for adding the jurisdiction and court to a citation. First, we start with the case name. Here it is. Then we include parallel citations from two or three sources. We also add the year if necessary. Here they are. McGill requires that the year of the decision be included if it is not in the reporter citation. In this case, we only have the year as part of the database identifier, which is not a reporter. Strictly speaking, this means we should add the year. In practice, the year from an online database identifier may be adequate. Looking at the citation in its current form, we don't know the jurisdiction and court that issued the decision. This information, uh, this is information that we need to be added so that it is accessible to the reader. We see in our source that it is a decision of the Ontario Superior Court of Justice. However, this is not a McGill compliant abbreviation. There are two places in the McGill guide that provide rules on how to abbreviate the jurisdiction and court. If we look at the table of contents under the jurisprudence tab, we see that there is a section dealing with jurisdiction and court.
if we look at the table of contents under the appendices tab, we see that the McGill Guide includes a list of abbreviations for both jurisdictions and courts. After referring to these appendices, we know the proper abbreviations and use those at the end of our citation in round parentheses. Be careful not to confuse abbreviations used for neutral citations or for legislation with those added at the end of a case citation. And here is our complete citation with the jurisdiction and court added at the end of the citation in round parentheses.